It's the magic of math here, and today we're talking real-world system of linear equations where two friends go to the store to buy a game system and a video game, and we're going to write a system of linear equations to determine the cost of the game system. Here's our question today. Glenn bought a game system and three video games for $375. Jim bought a game system and four video games at the same store for $410. We're told that each game system costs the same, and each video game costs the same. We're asked what is the cost in dollars of one game system, and then we're going to enter your answer in the box. So here's where I'd like you to pause the video, do your best work, and then come back to see mine. Good luck. Welcome back. Again, we're going to find the cost in dollars of one game system. To do this, we're going to write an equation for Glenn, and then we'll write an equation for Jim. So we're going to start with Glenn. And what did Glenn do? He bought a game system, one game system, and three video games. So three video games for a total dot amount of dollars of $375. So Glenn bought a game system and three video games for a total cost of $375. Now let's go to Jim. And we're going to come down and record what Jim did. Jim bought a game system and he went and bought four video games and he paid a total of $410. So now we know that we are wanting to find what one game system cost. This is our unknown that we're trying to find. And we're going to go on to the next slide here, bringing forward what we started with. We're going to start with the game system. And we're going to let the variable g represent the cost for one game system. Now we need a variable to represent the cost of one video game. We'll use v. So 3 times v right here represents the total cost that Glenn spent for three video games. And v is that unknown cost for one video game. And then he spent a total of $375. So a game system plus three videos equals 375. We'll do and write an equation for Jim. Jim also bought a game system and he bought four video games. So four times V, the cost of one video game, and that equals $410. Here is my system of linear equations. Seeing as the variable G has the same coefficient, I'm going to subtract one equation from the other. If I subtract these terms, I must also do the same and subtract these like terms as well. So g subtract g is zero, there are zero pair. 3v subtract 4v is negative 1v or negative v. And 375 subtract 410 is negative 35. I don't want to know what negative 1v equals to. I want to know what negative, a positive 1v is equal to. So I'm going to divide both sides by the coefficient negative 1. Negative 1 divided by itself is positive 1, leaving me v or 1v. And that is equal to 35, negative 35 divided by negative 1 is 35. So that tells me that the cost of one video game is $35. But remember, we want to know the cost of a game system. So let's bring down, you could do either equation. I'm going to start with the first one. G plus 3 times the cost of a video game equals 375. Well, now we know that V has a cost of $35. So let's rewrite this. G plus 3 times 35. We know that V is equal to 35. And that equals 375. We're going to multiply here. So bring down G, add. 3 times 35 is 105, and that still equals 375. To solve for G, that cost for one game system, we're going to undo add 105 by subtracting 105 from each side. This gives me a zero pair, left with G on the left, is equal to 375 subtract 105, which is 270. Bring this back to our problem over here. And that tells me that that game system, the cost of one game system, is what I was solving for. G, our game system, is equal to 270. So to answer our question, 
the cost in dollars of one game system is $270. And there you have it. That is a real world system of linear equations that we wrote two equations to represent each friend to determine the cost of a game system. And that's the magic of math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you have a great day and that you'll come back soon.